Hello Libras. So the last reading I did, which was about a month ago, sorry, I've been out in Washington trying to find the soulmate that I've been telepathically picking up on. Um, so I missed readings for a little bit, but I am back in California now. So we'll be getting back into my readings now. Um, so the last reading I did, I was getting about a month ago, I was getting, there was a lot going on in the higher realms. <clears throat> someone is in some kind of psychic battle trying to win your love. So there's a lot going on in the 5D. You're probably picking up on this telepathically, even though you might not always be able to put your finger on it. You probably get some sense of, of all the, the chaos going on. You might wake up feeling exhausted and not know why, and it's because your, your soul is doing a lot in the astral realm as you sleep. Let's see what's going on now. Clubs and parties, social life, willpower, strength, confidence, reconciliation. <clears throat> Sorry. Courage, assertiveness, motivation, forward movement, light at the end of the tunnel. It's pretty good energy overall. Let's see what else we got. Beauty, mystery, enchantment. Choose a path. Ooh. Pride, stubbornness. True love, potential life partner. Ooh, the cards are not playing today. <laughs> you basically are choosing between pride and stubbornness and true love. <laughs> um, <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. The energy I get here is that this energy has either manifested physically for you already or it's trying to. It's ready to manifest for you physically. So so a month ago I was getting, you know, there was a lot going on psychically. There was like a psychic battle. Someone was trying to win your love. And I feel like your your life partner has, even if you haven't met them yet, you know, and you don't, like I said, you don't have to necessarily know this person yet. This could just be someone that you're telepathically connected to, someone from your past lives. And you just kind of get the sense that like, this is your year. Like this is the year you're going to meet your person. Like it's, it's time. You can kind of feel that it's time. You might be, you know, seeing synchronicities like 1111, certain numbers, uh, birds, feathers, certain songs come on the radio you're just kind of getting into that that you're starting to get out of stagnation and getting into this energy of just you know passion romance like you're just you're feeling it you're starting to feel it is what i'm is what i'm getting from this you you just even if things aren't perfect right now you still have this kind of um inner knowing that there's something just around the corner you you you're you know telepathically connecting to this person i feel like you hold the key here so for some I'm actually getting both energies. For some, I feel like this is a brand new person. For others, I feel like this might be someone from your past, but this would not be a toxic person. This would not be a narcissist. This would not be someone that was mentally or physically abusive. None of that. This would be someone like they liked you a lot. You liked them, but, you know, you had to move away or they had to move away or it was just the wrong timing. Like they were with someone or you were with someone, but it, you guys had a good feeling about it. It might be like that kind of connection coming back around. This could be someone that you know from like a club or a party or like um, some kind of like you have mutual friends or some kind of social event for some of you. I also take this card to be a message that it's time for you to get out and live your life because I feel like some of you feel this coming, um, but you're like not really doing quite enough to put yourself out there like you're not um like you kind of need to make yourself more visible is what I'm getting I almost feel like you have friends that are like come out of the house this is probably like for a specific person but I feel like one of you is like depressed and your friends are like come out of the house come out of the house like like come on let's go do stuff and you're just like oh no <laughs> and it's like saying listen to your friends it's time to go out and live your life <laughs> But, um, but I get this general energy for, for the majority of you that, <clears throat> you know, it is time to have fun again. It is time to be social again. And putting yourself out there and, and having fun. I feel like you've been kind of, maybe you've been stressed financially or you've been stressed about, you know, like business. It's just been all work and no play. Like you've been kind of 
focused heavily on something and over like almost like overwhelming yourself and your spirit guides want you to try to bring a little bit more fun into your life they want you to just kind of let go and let things flow naturally a little bit naturally a little bit and and um bring back that free-spirited kind of adventurous fun side of yourself again you know even if, if you don't have a lot of money it's like you don't have to do something expensive you can go for a hike nearby you can you know, go out dancing, don't even get a drink, just go to the club just to dance, you know, something like that. Just, just uh, explore something downtown, just, you know, just get the energy flowing again. I actually just got this for another one of my zodiacs that I did. I forget which sign it was, but, um, but I was getting similar energy. So maybe it's like, maybe it's your person. You both need to go out there and find each other. You're both waiting you're both waiting around in the house and wondering where the other person is and you're not really going out and meeting each other. So it's kind of saying like, get back in, in touch with that side of yourself, with your free spirited side, with your adventurous, passionate side, with the, the side that just does not give a shit, you know, just get back in touch with that energy, have fun again. Maybe some of you like lacked a balance maybe you partied too much before for a few of you and so you're kind of afraid but I think your spirit guides are saying and they're not saying like go drink like if you're like an alcoholic then no do not go drink like I'm not saying that but I'm saying some of you might lack a balance where it's like you might go through phases where you want to hang out and you want to like just party and whatever for months in a row and then you spend months where you're just like I'm tired of everyone I just want to stay in the house and you're gonna like burn yourself out that way because you're going to get really lonely in the house eventually and you're going to be like like you're going to forget how to be social almost and then you're going to want to go out and it's going to be awkward or vice versa if like you party too much and you're just you know never recharging yourself you're going to get burnt out and exhausted so your guides are saying have a balance with your social life like it's not logical to like just be constantly be around people, but it's also not logical to be alone all the time either. Um, but but do what do what's right for you. You know, use your own intuition. But the the main and that could be for someone specific too. I'm not sure um, if this is your story and you want me to go more in depth into this. Just send me an email. My email is right below this um, video in the description box. It's dragonenchantress at aol.com, But you can just copy and paste it right from the from the um right below the video. But um, anyway, it's like I'm just getting the sense of like it's time to have fun again. It's time to not take life so seriously. It's time to just relax a little bit. There's certain things I feel that are beyond your control. Now, this could be like a business. Maybe some of you are trying to start your business and it's going to take months to really get things off the ground. And you know that. But it's like, why stress about it? Why? It's going to take that amount of time no matter what. And it's like. Not saying that you shouldn't keep pursuing it, but just don't forget to live too. Don't forget to go out and have fun and live your life and be happy. Or like if you're like working towards a goal and trying to save money, it's like you should do that. But it's just don't forget to enjoy life while while you're young, while you can. Even if you're not young, you know, you even if you're older, still go enjoy life. You know what I mean? It's just like don't let life pass you by. Um, cause I'm getting, that's where the love is going to be. It's like, you might meet someone at, maybe, you know, them from there, or maybe you're going to meet them. Like when you're out being social, like out with your friends, having fun, and they're going to see you in this kind of like seductive energy too, male or female. Cause it's like, you're just going to be like, you're living your best life. You're just, you know, you're, you're seductive. You're like the empress or the emperor in your, you know, willpower, strength, confidence, like letting go see how like this energy is just flowing it's like a very sexy energy too kind of like almost like maybe like dressing up is kind of what I get from these cards but also I just get the sense of like just letting things flow just manifesting what you want letting things just happen naturally just kind of changing your perspective on things because I feel like everything's just become too serious lately and you want to ride the wave as well because Mercury retrograde might just be chaotic no matter what you do to be honest I mean you can protect yourself and you should you should try to ground yourself but Mercury retrograde is usually something that we just kind of have to survive. Like it can be tough financially. It can be tough mentally. And I think your spirit guides are kind of saying, don't stress out about things that you don't even have any control over. You know what I mean? Like you might be waiting on answers and the answers are not going to come this week. There might be another month. It might be another two months before you get the answers. They will come in eventually, I feel, but it might not be for a while. So why bother stressing out in the meantime? You know what I mean? Like just let things flow naturally um step into your power you know willpower strength confidence to um 
to not let the not let all this chaos get the best of you. It's like you just have to ride that wave. There's there's not a lot we can do about Mercury retrograde other than be logical. Um, don't don't make foolish decisions. Don't don't travel during Mercury retrograde. I mean, there's survival tips. Don't get me wrong, but but try to let go of the control. Try to let go of the fear and try to just let you know just let life happen. Um, and I do feel like when you're in that energy, that's when you're going to manifest this person. Cause I almost feel like some of you are kind of like, you're lonely, like you're at home a lot. You're like trying to manifest your person and you're like, where are they? And I hate to say it cause I know it hurts and I've been in that energy plenty of times. So I, I understand it, but I don't feel like that's when your person's going to come to you. Unfortunately, in that energy, I'm not feeling that I'm feeling when you're out in public or you're out with your friends, you're out dancing, you're out hiking, you're out just having fun, living your life, letting it go, just doing you, just being in your power. That's when someone's going to notice you and be like, damn, that that woman or that man is, they're attractive, they're genuine, they're just raw emotion, emotion just passion. That's what's going to draw this person to you is getting in touch with that passionate, free-spirited side of yourself, like reclaiming that side of yourself again. It's like it's going to shine this light through you so that when you're out in public, they're going to notice you because they're going to be like, wow, that's like, that's amazing. That's unique. Like you're going to be your true self. When you're being your true self, that's when you're going to attract your person. When you're trying to control it and predict it and do all that, it's it's honestly just going to create more blocks and more confusion. And it's almost like you're, for some of you, it's like you're digging yourself this hole and you just, the more you dig, the more you get confused and scared and upset. And then you, you dig more and more and you're like, you're digging the hole deeper and you don't even realize it because you're trying to figure things out. But then you like get um like upset. You know what I mean? Like you... How do I explain that energy? And it's not saying you shouldn't figure things out. I mean, if you want a reading, I'll totally do like a reading for you and look into this and see what's going on. It's not saying that, but it's like, don't, don't hold on to the control issues though. You know what I mean? Like, don't, it's almost like some of you are trying to predict something that has not come in yet. You're trying to control when it's going to be, I don't know if this is money or love or both, but I think it's different for each one of you, but there's or some kind of answer that you're waiting on. Maybe you're waiting for someone to make a decision. You're waiting on some kind of answer, some kind of clarity. And honestly, I don't, I think it's difficult during Mercury retrograde because there's all this confusion. And I think for some of you, this, this might involve someone else's free will. So that the truth is there might not be an answer yet. There might, it might be one of those situations where you just kind of have to live your life and um, go with the flow. I know that's probably not what you guys want to hear, but but there's some situations where it's like, it's like you're trying to figure out something specific. And it's like the more you try to figure out, figure it out, the more stressed out you get and the more you confuse yourself. So then, then you get, it's like a vicious cycle where it's like you get confused. So then you try even harder to figure it out and then you confuse yourself more. And then, you know, it's just going on a merry-go-round and you need to get off that merry-go-round and as hard as it is, because it might be something really important to you. You might be like waiting to hear back about a loan, about a business, about um, if someone's interested in you, like whatever it might be. But I think your spirit guides are kind of saying, unfortunately, like there, there's not like a definite answer on it right now. Or maybe there's like divine timing is at play here as much as that is frustrating. Um, so it's kind of like get out of, stop digging that hole, stop, get off that merry-go-round and you know, just live your best life and have fun in the meantime. Um, and like I said, some of you are also are just kind of like at home, like you're, you're trying to, you want your person, you're trying to find them or you're trying to figure out how to meet them or you're trying to predict something. And it's kind of like saying like, when you let go of that, when you let go of that need to like predict it and control it and you just go out and start living your best life, that's when, you know, out of nowhere, you meet someone at like the gas station or at like a, a party or something just like unexpectedly, you know what I mean? It's like that kind of energy. Like when you get in your power, when you are reclaiming this free spirited energy and just letting things flow naturally, everything is going to come to you. I actually feel like you've already manifested just about everything you want, but it hasn't come in physically. So I'll explain that. So a lot of you have been doing the work and doing the affirmations and everything to manifest love, money, career, you name it, the house, whatever you want. But you're controlling things. You're you're holding on to control. You're trying to predict 
what it, what it's going to look like, like, you know, who it's going to be with. You're like, I want true love, but it has to be with this person. Or like, I want the house, but it has to be this house. It has to be in this neighborhood. And if you let go of all that, like the divine might bring you something different, but it's going to be more beautiful than you could ever imagine. It might not be the person you wanted that you thought you wanted, but you're going to want them when you meet them. It might not be your ex. It might be someone new, but you're going to be happy once you actually get to know them. It might not be the house that you wanted, but you might find out that that house was, you know, not good for you and that you would have had bad neighbors. And then you end up getting another house instead or another car, another, another career, whatever the situation might be, you know, um, or like with business, I feel like some of you are on the right track with your business, but you have to just let things flow because when you're in that open, free spirited kind of energy, that's when the creative ideas are going to flow and you're going to be able to, you know, manifest this abundance in, in your business, in this new business that you that some of you are trying to, trying to t uh, get started off the ground. But when you're like controlling things and that creative energy is kind of, blocked and so you're just gonna kind of blend in with everyone else that's doing the same thing you're doing you know what I mean like you really have to be in this passionate free-spirited kind of open energy just letting things flow for this to come in and like I said some of you are trying to find your person but you're not leaving the house your 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 social life is out of balance and that's a big issue because like you just, you have to, it's just time to go out and live your life. It's time to get back in this energy. It's time to let things flow. And it's part of the law of attraction too. It's the law of motion. When you're moving, when things are moving, that's when, you know, the, the universe can manifest this abundance for you. I'm oh, sorry. I was, sometimes when I channel, I get off track. So what I was trying to say originally is I feel like some of you have already manifested everything that you want but you're controlling it. I hope I'm not repeating myself. I'm sorry. I, when I channel, sometimes I'm just, I'm all over the place. So it's, it happens when you channel because, you know, the information comes in kind of quickly a lot of the time. But what I was trying to say is sometimes like, like I feel like you've manifested all the things you want, all the abundance, like it's there, but you're controlling it. You're trying to predict it. You're trying to you're like, you've, you've put the intentions in already, like it's trying to manifest, but you're holding on to it so tightly that you're blocking it. So when you let go and you just trust the divine and you're like, it's going to come in when it's going to come in, it's going to come in at divine, divine timing. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to live my best life. I'm going to have fun. I'm not going to sit around the house anymore. I'm going to go out with my friends. I'm going to go out and meet new people. If you don't have friends, go out and meet some new people, make a new friend group, you know, uh, develop a hobby. Uh, you know, pursue your hobbies, pursue your, your passions, do, you know, do some art projects, some creative projects. It's just, it's time to, to dance again, to write again, to sing again, to draw again, whatever you're, whatever you're doing. It's like, it's time to do that again. It's, you know what I mean? It's time to get that creativity and that passion flowing again. It's time to get into the law of, of motion, you know, a law of, of movement, you know, allowing things to just flow to you naturally. Cause it's like, you've manifested, you've already done the, the work. You've already done the work. You've done the healing work. You've done the, the intentions, all of it, but you're just blocking it. Like it's, it wants to manifest, but once you let go and you get in this energy, it's going to start manifesting. So anyway, um, I feel like, and that's not saying you can't get answers. Like you can totally get a reading from me and I'll give you the answers I can, but it's, um, it's like saying there's just certain things that you're not going to be able to predict right now. Unfortunately, there's just certain things that are just going to have to happen on their own timing. So once you get in that, you either have a new love coming in or you have an old person coming in. And this, this could be literally someone like recognizing you at a certain place, like out in public, like bumping into you, someone from the past or a new person that just sees your energy. But this, this is the energy that's going to draw this, this love in this courage and assertiveness, beauty, mystery, enchantment. And you're kind of choosing a path here, like between the stagnation and you're finding your life partner. You know what I mean? But you're, you're, it's time for, it's just time for like a perspective shift. It's time to do things differently. You know, it's like, if you want something you've never had, you have to do something you've never done. You need to, it's time to do the things that scare you. It's time to step out of your comfort zone. Hidden truth. You might be getting an open, honest message as well from someone who feels alone and feels kind of empty and misses you. 
There might be some kind of hidden truth coming out with Mercury retrograde with someone that feels kind of isolated right now. Kind of, they might be kind of depressed. They might, maybe they've been spying on you as well, and they might be sending you some kind of message. Trying to get their finances in order too, but you also have new love. <laughs> Or this could also be someone from the past. Well, this could be a new person, but maybe they're like on your social media, but you guys haven't really talked much yet. Toxicity, sex, seduction. This might move quickly. I feel like, because remember before I got that there was a psychic battle, two people were fighting to win your love, or someone was fighting the blocks between you guys, because I feel like someone might try to pull you back in, like seduct and be seductive, but honestly, I feel like you're going to clear that out really quick. You're going to, you might be getting like a sudden message and it might be like kind of warning you like that just is going to cause sadness again, so just hold, stick it out and wait for your new love instead. Yeah. <laughs> What else here? Someone is spying on your social media. For some of you, it's a new person. For some of you, it's an old, mentally unstable person. Possible third-party situation here. Ooh. Truth and clarity. Okay. The divine is protecting you from whatever this low vibrational connection is, though, and they're taking you to your real person, to your true love. And like I said, for some of you, that's a past person. So I don't think this, if this is a past person, I don't feel like it's someone you dated or like if you did, you guys didn't date very long and like someone had to move away or someone like things got messed up naturally. Like it wasn't, it wasn't toxic. This person would not be toxic. If it's, if it's someone that's toxic, it's not the one for you. This is someone that like, like it was just the right person with the wrong timing that that's coming back in or, um, or a new person, a brand new person is coming back in one of those, but it's, I don't feel like it's someone that you've been with before. Um, or if you guys were, like I said, it wasn't for long and you had to break up because of natural causes, but like it was true love and like you guys were happy together and, um, things just, you know, happened, but I feel like there is one mentally unstable person that still wants your attention, but they're not, they're powerless now. It just, they might, you might get like a random drunk message or something during retrograde, but it's not to worry about. It's just saying, don't give into it. Just, just keep doing you. Yeah. Risk reward, bold gesture, choosing love over fear. Yeah. I'm the main message I get from this reading is it's time to get out there and live your life because a lot of you, like I said, a lot of you are like lonely, but you're like not, you're not on any dating apps. You're not going out, out aside from work or the grocery store. Like you, you have to, you have to make yourself visible and you have to get your light back. You have to claim your power and your light back from toxic people that have taken that away from you. You know, it's time to step out of your comfort zone for sure. So I hope this resonates with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and post it. And like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is below in the description box. Um, donations are appreciated and thanks for watching. Please subscribe if this resonates with you. Thanks.